Welcome aboard this red-eye flight to San Francisco. You can call me T or Tange, and I'm your New York City-based flight attendant for a major U.S. airline. If you enjoy seeing and learning about the job of a flight attendant and our layovers, then you're in the right place. Well, hello from San Francisco. It's been forever. I know, I know I'm terrible, but I just have not been working. It's currently March. I haven't worked since January, so it's been a while. We have a 24 hour layover here in San Fran. I got in last night um, around eight or so to the room and we leave tonight. Pickup is at nine o'clock and it's a red eye going back. So we get in tomorrow morning at like seven in the morning or something. I don't generally like red eyes they're just tiring for whatever reason but it was a good trip it was a cute trip and i had nothing but san francisco's for my march schedule but i was able to drop them um they were all two days i had nothing but two days and i was able to drop them because i was like i don't need four san francisco's i just didn't feel like going i mean at this point i was just not used to going to work and it was nice just to be home and not having to like play the swap board game and texting people asking them to move things all i had to do was put it on the board and less than 10 minutes it was gone so being in that routine over the last couple of months it's been cool to be able to drop trips no worries no fuss and just be home also my baby oreo she's been well she's not sick now but she had like a little situation and she's good but just being able to be home with her and spend time with her. Um, I've gotten into that routine. She's gotten into that routine of me and her all day, every day. So I didn't want to leave her also low key. It's like, if I don't have to go to work, if I don't have to fly, I don't want to. The only reason I kept this one is because one of my girlfriends from training, she is on this trip. Well, no, 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 I'm lying. She's not on this trip, but she's here in San Francisco. She's Atlanta based and she, was working this trip as well from Atlanta to San Fran. Um, so I was like, girl, do not drop this trip. Make sure you keep it so we can see each other and have a good time because I haven't seen her in a little minute. So yeah, the plan today, the plan today, the plan is to finish working a little bit. Got my laptop back there. Um, I have some work to do for the other job. Do that for a little bit, almost 1030 now, and I'm supposed to meet her for 11 we're gonna go to brunch chill easy day i really love san francisco i don't want to say love that might be a bit much but i do enjoy san francisco i do san francisco san diego's when coming to the west coast those are my two that i i do enjoy the most um where have i been i've been home home and getting fat that's what i've been doing okay i've gained so much weight over these past several months but that's a topic story for another day last few months in like the aviation world as far as flight attendants go has been interesting to say the least throughout the winter i haven't had any to's except for um, milan back on christmas other than that i haven't been able to get any to's um on my schedule like bidding for it and getting on my schedule it's been crazy i haven't been able to pick any up because why i don't know what is the reason because i've never seen it like this before it's just been weird people have been picking up a days left and right if you don't know a days are our reserve days nobody generally wants to work a days because that's when you are on call that's when you have to just be available for crew scheduling um whenever whenever so people have been picking those up normally people want to drop those but people have been picking them up because when you don't get used on a days you still get paid not the full amount of what you would get for a trip but a certain block of time you still get paid for being on call and not getting used and people have been picking up like not the best trips just because people need hours because i don't know i don't know what's been going on it's just been so weird just been you know living my best lazy life and been loving it hold up you're watching this vlog so i assume that you're interested in the job and lifestyle of a flight attendant so this is your cue to subscribe and comment about this vlog so far and what you would like to see more of in the future carry on but at the same time low-key missing flying a little bit until i got on the aircraft yesterday and i was like what is going on <laughs> like boarding is nuts literally nuts anyway and i missed vlogging too it's like i have nothing to vlog i i don't have a life outside of <laughs> being a flight attendant especially in the winter i did go 
to candle making with my girlfriends, my two best friends. We did that one weekend. Two black. black. We went to a Drew Hill concert. all I did so far from beginning of this year until now. That's it. That's my quick little recap. Just been interesting these last several months flying or not flying. And next month, which is April, I'm back, baby. We back, baby. We got our internationals back on my line, not to where I have to pick them up or swap. They were on my line. So that is very hopeful for the next several months, which I knew, I knew at some point it was gonna shift back, especially with spring and summer coming because nobody wants to really fly in the summer like that. I'm gonna go and get dressed because I'm running late because I'm rambling and yeah, just wanted to pop in and say, hey, I'm here, I'm still here. Thank you for subscribing. I miss vlogging, I do. It's just that I have not been working so there is nothing to vlog. So bear with me. If there are certain videos that you wanna see. If you have questions, let me know. I will vlog or video or record or do whatever I need to do. Anyway, I'm rambling. Come back. It was a gloomy day, but still beautiful nonetheless. Just getting back to the room met up with um my friend and we went to brunch matter of fact let me get undressed and then um i'll come back and fill you in on the day today was cute and random random because um okay so first i met up with my girlfriend i haven't seen her she said we haven't seen each other in four years which is nuts we talk all the time. During the pandemic, she and I, we escaped. <laughs> and we went to Florida on like a little mini vacation. And she said, we haven't seen each other since then. You know, time just be going. Time goes on and you don't realize another month, six months, a year, how fast time goes, especially within the aviation industry because you're always on the go your schedules are all over the place it's not like your nine to five job where you know what every day is going to be and entail it's structured there when you're flying it's just it just it flies by literally no pun we went to brunch it wasn't anything to write home about more so about just catching up either way you know it wasn't about where we went it was just about spending time together she mentioned that she had never been to um the Golden Gate Bridge. I'm like, girl, you here? You gotta do it. It's one of them things you just have to do. Check, like, why not? Went, took a couple pictures just so she could see it. I don't think she was wild by it or anything. <laughs> she was like, okay, another bridge. Be a replica of <laughs> that's, oh, that's that's Alpha Crash. Oh, okay, so yeah. <laughs> I think okay. it's the ocean. That's back there. Okay. And then we came back as we we're walking down the street. I happened to look over into like the reflection of a store, and I see somebody running up behind us, and I turn around. And it's our friend, a guy that we know, also from training. And we're like, oh my God, what are you doing here? So he's not with my airline anymore. He went to a different airline. He moved here a couple months ago. And he just so happened to be running errands and saw us passing and like ran into us. And we were like, what? Like, what are the odds? I love moments like that. You know, it's just one of the things that just was meant to be. I love those moments. Is that serendipity? 
I don't know. It wasn't like he was gonna lay over here too. So it was just like, mind blown. We went and ran a couple little errands and then went and also grabbed something to eat. <laughs> It's about 5.30. We needed to make sure that we were back in the room by a certain time so we both could get um, some rest, some sleep before our red eyes. This was fun. When you make friends, whether it be from training or along the way, if you click with certain people when you're flying, try to stay in contact. I know it's hard. I know matching schedules can be hard because everyone prefers different types of trips and people live in different bases or commute or all these different variables that play into it. I understand that. Before I had this job, I was A-OK -okay with being alone. And I'm still someone that can be by myself all the time. But now with having this job, there are times where it's like, damn, I wish I had someone with me at this layover or that layover. So make the best of it. But anyway, I wish I could just lay in this bed and sleep for the next like seven hours and have a really good night's sleep and then work. But that's not the case. I have to be up in about three. I really don't want to work this red eye. I wish the flight had canceled or delayed. Delayed before we get to the airport. So that way we can have a little bit more time. But at the same time, it's like, let's just get it done. But anyway, I'm rambling for usual and I need to get some rest before. Pick up is at 910. We're on our way to do this red eye. Oh, hate red eyes. But we gotta do it. Cleaners are still on. The aircraft is filthy. Whole bag underneath there. What were they doing? You can make this up. Grown people. Cups there, like maybe they wasn't able to do trash. Maybe it was too bumpy coming in. We're about two and a half hours into the flight at this point with three and a half hours to go. And as you can see, everyone is asleep. And this is one of the reasons red eyes are so brutal because we don't have anything to do at this point. It's nothing but idle time. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next vlog, which I believe is going to be Paris.